I want to ask you, Michael, um, about a perspective I have, which is that the SEC is just becoming less and less effectual um, in, a, in a very significant way in that all the action is going to the parts of Wall Street that are not regulated by the SEC. I mean, you yourself were just talking about the B team and the A team, B team being investment bank, A team, private equity, venture, crypto, not under the purview of the SEC. Um, you know, look at Sand Hill Road, the valuations and the unicorns, all the action goes to those guys. It's not in the public markets. And the SEC is overseeing a smaller and smaller part of the financial services industry. Do you yeah. agree with that? And, and what are the consequences? If so, so that's true. I think it's, it's true. Um, one of the interesting consequences, I mean, there are all kinds of consequences, but one of the interesting consequences, in, it's in crypto, is that essentially a separate financial structure is being built alongside the old legacy financial structure. And this financial structure has several properties, but the one apropos of what we were just talking about is that it eliminates middlemen. Um, it, that if you are trading on a um, cryptocurrency exchange, you have an account with the exchange. You don't have an account with a broker who's moving your stuff on in and out of the exchange. They're not, they're not high frequency traders who are paying the cryptocurrency exchange for faster information about the exchange. Um, uh, the whole, the whole jerry rigging of the stock market isn't happening there. It's it's really clean in a funny way. I mean, I don't know about cryptocurrency itself, but but the mechanisms that are being built to exchange this are far more egalitarian, more equal. Uh, the, the the participants in the marketplace are not privileged in relation to one another in the same way they are in the stock market. And I think that the proof of concept outside of the regulated markets that you can actually run a market this way and it works really well and it's better for the individual investors may end up being persuasive when in the conversations about how we reform our regulated markets. Um, so that, that, so that's, I think that might be a big deal, might not. I mean, the whole thing may come crashing down because nobody, you know, crypto is an act of faith, right? It's like gold, like the dollar. Uh, but <laughs> and you don't know, you just, it's hard to judge, like impossible to judge whether that faith is sustainable or, or not. I don't know. But, but if the longer it goes on, the more of a threat it poses to the existing financial order. 